Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 8744. So today guys we're predicting with you guys the World Cup qualifiers for 2026 for the Africa Confederation guys. We're going to break down all the nine groups guys. And so all there are going to be six nations with each group. Each nation plays home and away against each other. And the nation that accumulates the most points tops the group and directly qualifies for the World Cup. As for the second place teams, they go all the nine second place teams will compete against each other for four spots. The best four second place teams advance to the semifinals to determine the, the remaining, the last spot for Africa for the World Cup. So it's going to be very interesting, very competitive. I'm really looking forward to see how this one pans out. And there's going to be upsets. There's going to be upsets, guys. And that's what the beauty with Africa is that Africa is so unpredictable. Like, in my opinion, this is the most unpredicted, pre predictable confederation we have in the world. So I really hope you guys do take the time to enjoy this video. And please remember to leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'll be looking through your comments and reading through your comments. And also, please remember while you're down there, guys, to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow, guys. So we're going to start with the first group we have here is Group A. We have Egypt, Burkina Faso, Guinea-Bissau, Sierra Leone, Ethiopia, Djibouti. And by the way, guys, I'm very sorry if I mispronounce any of the African nations because I'm bound to know there will be some I mispronounce. I'm, I'm trying my absolute best to pronounce these the best way that I can. So... Top in the group is Egypt. Egypt, Egypt for without a doubt, should be top in this group. And Djibouti will come in last place. For me, that second place battle is really, really between, for me, Burkina Faso, Guinea-Bissau. I think Sierra Leone, Ethiopia will give it a really good go. I just feel like, for me, they're going to draw points against, maybe, like, against each other. And I just don't know if they, can, they have what it takes to beat Burkina Faso, Guinea-Bissau. You know? And I think they're going to make things close, and I think they're going to give it a good affair, a good, good, good matchup. I just feel like for me, they're just they're just going to fall short. I don't think they have the individual quality. And for me, it's really Burkina Faso that should be getting second place. I just think they have too much quality in their team. They always do really well in the Africa Cup of Nations, and I feel like this nation for me is so unlucky when it comes to World Cup. And with the World Cup being expanded, this is a great opportunity for them to actually qualify directly. So you know, and even Egypt, even though they should. Um, even even though Egypt should top this group, you can think that you would probably say that's probably Egypt's toughest game, you know. And maybe if they can get some, if they can get go undefeated against Egypt and win the remaining games, that can be, do it. So, best of luck to Burkina Faso, man. Best of luck. Moving to Group B. Um, sorry about that. We have Senegal, DR Congo, Mauritania, Togo, Sudan, and South Sudan. One thing's for sure, Senegal will top this group. And for me, second place is really between DR Congo and Martinia. I don't think Togo can do it. And Sudan and South Sudan, I don't think are good enough. And for me, I think DR Congo should be doing this. I think they should be doing this. With the quality of players they have on the roster, they should be doing this. And I expect them to do so. So, Martinia, I think, will give it a good match. I think they'll make things very close. I just feel like for me, DR Congo have too much individual quality and those players to make the difference. Moving on to Group C, we have Nigeria, South Africa, Benin, Zimbabwe, Rwanda, Lesotho. Nigeria, without a doubt, should be top in this group. They have way too much quality. They have a star, star, insane attack. And the attack they have is insane. Like, it's probably the best in Africa. You know, and it's insane how many players Nigeria can feel for the striker position in particular. They have so many quality strikers. As for second place, um, I don't think Rwanda, Lesotho is good enough. I think they're going to do really bad and Zimbabwe could maybe make things close maybe can get some draws against Nigeria and South Africa I don't think they could rack up enough wins though which will ultimately see them fall through you know narrowly short and for me it's really between South Africa and Benin and I'm gonna go with South Africa I feel like for me South Africa have improved ever since they missed the last AFCON and I think they have pick things up whereas Benin on the other hand I feel like they haven't really been the same ever since that 2019 so it's gonna be very interesting because I feel like these two nations are in very different form right now at the moment and it's gonna be very competitive because I just feel like for me it's such a tough one to call but I'm gonna have to go with South Africa though with the you know heritage they have and you know with the players they have I think they'll just about narrowly squeeze through in second place group D we have is Cameroon Cape Verde Angola Libya Eswatini and Mauritius. Mauritius. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Cameroon should definitely top this group. They have too much quality to do so. And for me, for second place is very difficult. It was really between, for me, Cape Verde and Gull. I don't think Libya, Eswatini, and Mauritius is good enough. And I just, I'm going to go with an upset. I'm going to actually go with Angola to qualify. I feel like for me, this is a nation that 
have improved and i feel like for me i feel like angola just have something special about them you know i was really really impressed what they did and the africa cup of nations and so um qualifiers and i just feel like for me this is a nation that could surprise people and even though cape verde is probably expected to qualify i think they're going to be an upset remember i told you guys at the beginning of the video that there's going to be an upset and i'm not really that too sold on cape verde even though they are an africa cup of nations mainstay so yeah um, moving on to Group E, we have Morocco, Zambia, Congo, Tanzania, and Niger, Eritrea. Now, I'm going to say this right now, guys. Eritrea have withdrawn. They will not be part of the World Cup qualifiers. So, hopefully, things go better for them off the pitch. Now, as for um, topping the group, though, Morocco should definitely top this group. I mean, there should be no question. Like, this is the best nation in Africa right now at the moment. And they're the clear favorites. Um, they're the, the, you know, they're the best Africa nation right now in the world, in my opinion. As for second place, is really, really interesting because you have Zambia and Congo. And for me, Tanzania and Nigeria, I don't think I have enough quality to compete. And for me, I'm going to go with Zambia. I think Zambia, for me, have what it takes. I've been really, really impressed with them. And I feel like their attack is just insane. Patsy and Daka and Co. And I feel like Zambia, it's for time for them to actually show up. At, you know, They won the Africa Cup of Nations, and now can they do one better and qualify for the World Cup, which will be a great, great way, uh, great, great Great achievement for them because I believe they have never qualified for the World Cup, and I'm mistaken. Then we have Group, um, sorry, Group F right here. I don't know why I went back to Group D. We have Group F right here. We have Ivory Coast, Gabon, Kenya, Gambia, Burundi, Seychelles. Ivory Coast should definitely top this group without a doubt. As for second place, as it was really, it was a three-way battle for me between Gambia. I mean, yeah, Gambia, Gabon, and Kenya. Burundi, Seychelles. I don't think have it enough quality. And guys, I'm going to go with Gambia. I feel like Gambia, for me, have really, really been impressive. Even though defensively they look a bit vulnerable, and I'm not really even like convinced defensively with them, I feel like, for me, this is a team that you can't write off upon. This is a team that has so much character, so much energy, so much passion. And we saw what they did in the 2021 AFCON. They were amazing. They were the, one of the most impressive teams ever. And I feel like, for me, they really did well. For me, with Gabon, I just feel like for me, this is not they're 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 tr they're they're declining right now at the moment. And even though Aubameyang has come back, the team has not qualified for the Africa, which is a huge disappointment for them. And even Kenya, even Kenya couldn't even do something. I just feel like for me, Kenya don't have that quality compared to Gambia. And I feel like for me, Gambia have been more impressive than Kenya in the in the, in the last major tournament. So. Hence the reason why I'm going to go with Gambia. That being said, though, I could see Kenya do it. And, you know, G Gabon could finish as low as fourth. As a pot two nation, that would be pretty bad. Group G, we have here Algeria, Guinea, Uganda, Mozambique, Botswana, Somalia. I'm going to say this right now. Algeria should definitely top this group without a doubt. They have too much quality. I expect them to do so. As for second place, it was really between Guinea and Uganda and maybe Mozambique. I think Botswana, Somalia are just not good enough. And for me, I think Guinea should do this. They have this. They have one of the most informed strikers right now in the world, um, in Europe right now at the moment. Garassi has been in incredible form, and I just feel like for me, he alone is going to score a lot of goals in this group. And who knows? He can make a big move over the summer. Big, big move, depending on how he does for Guinea and the um, World Cup qualifiers. So yeah, I think Guinea will do this. I think Uganda, Mozambique will make things very, very close. Though I think they'll give. They will just narrowly fall short. And then finally, we move on to Group H, the penultimate group we have here is Tunisia, Equatorial Guinea, Na, Bia, and Malawi, Liberia, and Saturn Principe. For me, Tunisia, without a doubt, should be top in this group. They have too much quality to do so. As for second place, it was really difficult, really, really tough, because for me, Liberia and Saturn are not going to do it. It was for me between Equatorial Guinea, and Na, Bia, and Malawi. I'm going to go with Equatorial Guinea, though, because I feel like for me, they, they know Tunisia very well. And we have seen that at times that they can get the win over Tunisia and the World Cup qualifiers. And that could be huge because I'm not really sure any of the other nations in this group can beat Tunisia. And I think if Equatorial Guinea can beat Tunisia, especially at home, that could be a huge three points that none of the other nations can get. And that could be huge for them because we know Tunisia tends to kind of raise or drop their level against nations that are on a similar caliber for them. So I think Equatorial Guinea can do it though. Um, and it's going to be close, though, because I think Nabia is going to make it very competitive. I think they could definitely give Equatorial Guinea a run for their money. It's just that I think Equatorial Guinea are just going to narrowly scrape through and do it. And finally, we have Group I. We have here's the 
Alt, the final group of Mali, Ghana, Madagascar, Central African Republic, Comoros, and Chad. For me, top of this group without doubt should be Ghana. Um, they're gonna, they should be able to top this group with the players they have. I expect them to do so. And for second place, guys, it was really between Mali and Madagascar, and you know maybe Central African Republic. I don't think Comoros or Chad are good enough. Um, and so for me, for second place though, it should be Mali. It should be Mali. They have a really good squad on paper, and they should be delivery at this stage. Now we're gonna go ahead and go on to the um, playoffs. So these are the best four second place teams. These are the teams I think will rack up the most second points. Second play, um, rack up the most points. So I have Burkina Faso, Dio Congo, and Zambia and Mali. So I want to know your guys four best second place teams. Which ones you guys think will get the most points? Because remember, guys, only four teams will get the um, will qualify through the playoffs of the nine. So all five teams is gonna miss out, which is really really unfortunate so i want to know what you guys think in the comments below guys hope you guys did enjoy this video guys remember guys to like and subscribe and yeah like i said guys let me know your guys predictions in the comments below guys i'll be looking through your comments and yeah i'll see you guys later man remember guys to um like this video if you did enjoy subscribe if you're new out here comment up with your thoughts comments description below and check out my other posts in the description below and yeah consider becoming a member to get access to members of your member streams and yeah i'll see you guys later peace out